What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at more examples of the very early morning sun and we're going to look at what could possibly be causing this. What if humans have pumped so much water out of the ground that it's changed the tilt of the earth? Articles going around last year about this time in the middle of June implying that that indeed was underway. And what if we're seeing evidence of this today? And a look at some satellite imagery that shows the the tilt of the Earth very, very low. We're going to come back and take a look at that footage here in just a moment. Got some cool photos to share with you guys. Dab Brad out of Fort White, Florida. Check out this orange sky from Fort White, Florida. Very cool photo. Speaking of cool photos, this photo was sent in by Jason Litchfield out of New Orleans. Goes back to the 10th of June of a strange pyramid cloud in the daytime sky. Check this out. We're going to go in and take a closer look and sure enough looks like a pyramid sitting up in the sky not only did he take one photo he took two just to make sure and it was the only cloud in the sky of all the clouds in the sky that was shaped like some sort of a pyramid or a triangle quite possibly both however you want to interpret that very unusual cloud spotted above new orleans thank you guys for the photos really appreciate that quick look at the earth facing side of the sun here's the the large active region and sunspots that are producing a M-class solar flare, literally right now as I do this video, you can see like an M138 that just occurred literally within the last hour, and it was detected by the ionosphere, a, a very minor shortwave radio blackout, but we do have activity occurring. You can see the Schumann resonance in the last 24 hours. In fact, the last 48 hours has been very quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, looking at the seismographs and monitor the mighty supervolcano, still Still have a lot of bizarre activity going on up here in the the northern part of the caldera and i heard yesterday that there's some roads closed around yellowstone i'm wondering if it's got anything to do with this bizarre ground activity along the northern edge of the super volcano caldera i left the feature photo up one more day that is so cool paul johnson grants pass oregon and other people saw that black halo in the sky just a couple of days ago i want to share with you guys some more photos and video footage of the early morning twilight. Rennie out of Spruce Grove, Alberta looked up and saw this at 3.25 a.m. this morning. Are you serious? Look at that sky. But I'm going to show you something here in a minute that may explain what's going on. I mean, as we all know, in the summertime in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun comes up earlier. We get that, that's not anything new. It just seems like it's coming up extra early this year. That's all, I noticed it again this morning myself from right out here in Arizona. Going from Alberta over to the United Kingdom, these photos were sent in by Neil. This first photo was taken at 2.46 a.m. Are you kidding me? 2.46 a.m. And he also noticed that cylinder-looking object up in the sky, too, as he took the, the photo from Manchester, United Kingdom. He actually took these photos on the 16th. These would have been yesterday morning. And the next photo he took at 3.32 a.m., about 45 minutes later, and you can see the sky was getting even brighter. Keep in mind, this is 3.30 in the morning, and it's daylight, 3.30 in the morning. And the next photo he sent in, 3.50 a.m., 6.16, Manchester, United Kingdom, straight up daylight outside, and it's not even 4 o'clock in the morning. And going from the United Kingdom to right over here in Arizona, I took these photos this morning myself, photos and video footage of the eastern sky at 4.16 a.m. In fact, I've got the, the metadata to share with you guys right here, 4.16 a.m., June 17th. I took that photo this morning looking down the street. That's east. You can see mountains over there. There's no city lights over there at all. That's all rugged, mountainous terrain over there and desert. And as you can see, the twilight was bright as it could be at 4.16 a.m. Either nautical, astro twilight, maybe civil twilight. All I know is it was getting daylight. Here's a photo I took. It was starting to get daylight at 4.16 a.m. right out here in Arizona. Very, very early. It just seemed early to me. And then about three hours later, same part of the sky over here in the southeastern sky, 
I walked out of the garage and saw this in the southeastern sky. So by the time I grabbed my phone and started recording the sky, this feature right here had stopped. It was falling. There was something falling leaving this trail right here. And I started recording it as fast as I possibly could because I didn't know what this thing was going to do. Apparently, this, whatever it is, it was some sort of a smoke trail by the time I saw it, but there was something moving over there in the southeastern sky. Obviously, it wasn't an airplane or a helicopter because this right feature was falling when I first saw it. And there was not only one, but there were two in the east southeastern sky. Both of these things, whatever they were, were about the same size and they were below the sun as you're going to see here in just a second. This was a video I took of the anomaly over there in the sky. I was waiting on it to possibly do something else because it just looked out of place. And then I took a picture of the eastern sky as I noticed there was not only one, but there were two. Notice the the one that I videoed over there on the right and there was another one over here on the left that apparently had entered the sky before I saw this one. So two anomalies in the east southeastern sky from right out here in southeast Phoenix. Saw that this morning at 7.45 a.m. So back to the twilight. We've been seeing twilight as early as 2.46 a.m. in some parts of Canada, the United Kingdom. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, article over here at space.com and many other places Places. And these articles were going around June of 2023. It goes on to say humans are pumping out so much groundwater that it's changing the Earth's tilt. Earth's tilt has changed by, check this out, 31.5 inches between 1993 and 2010. That's 17 years because of the amount of groundwater humans have taken from the planet's interior. In that period, humans have removed 2,150 gigatons from the Earth's natural reservoirs in the planet's crust. And this was a measurement that was taken between 93 and 2010. We're now in 2024, and what if we're now starting to see signs of this tilt in the early morning twilight? Brian shared this GOES satellite loop with me, and you can see how, how steep the angle is of the, the sunlight. Look at that. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe the, the low angle is allowing the light to appear first up here in Montana and, and Idaho before it does in North Carolina. It just seems kind of odd because my friend Nelson sent in a sunrise from the other day and he wasn't seeing twilight until about 445 when people up in Montana and parts of North Dakota were noticing twilight at around 345. So maybe the tilt is much steeper at the present time than it normally is. I know that out here in Arizona, the sun seems to be coming up earlier, at least with regard to the, the twilight. The twilight is definitely coming up earlier. So I came over here to the GOES-16 and was looking at the, the angle myself, and you can see it does look very steep, as it always does in the, in the summertime. The sun angle changes back and forth. In the, the wintertime in the northern hemisphere, the sun angle will be going this way. It'll be going from left to right. And you can see now it's going from right to left. It just seems excessively steep, that's all. Here's another view, a full disk view of the sun angle. And if you watch this entire feed, you'll notice the top of the earth never gets dark. Stays light the entire day, right up there. Check that out. So it seems like to me that the, the Earth is tilted a little more than usual, and that's what's possibly causing these twilight anomalies that we're seeing in various places across the Northern Hemisphere. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website, MrMBB333.com. Look for this red banner that says... Have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.